ለመማር ወደ ትምህርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የጠበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምህርታችሁ መከታተል ትችላላችሁ ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ ኢኒሲቲዩት ኦፍ ኮመርሻል ማኔጅመንት አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምህርቶችን ተከታተላችሁ በ6 ስቶር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ልምድ ባላችሁ መምራን እየተማራ ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁት አይነት በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ ከናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ሄሎ ጋይስ ናይስ ሚት ቪት ዩ ናይስ ቲ ቪት ዩ አገን እንዴት ናችሁ ለምናለ ዶክተር ሰላም ነው ሰላም ነው ዶክተር When I see the list of names that uh, uh, was sent by the coordinators when I see your names it's really another remarkable time that we can spend definitely I'm sure at least you will not waste your time with me you I I, I hope you will get something yeah it definitely is, doctor is, yeah this is a master's class and in a master's class you know uh, we are not just uh, Uh, involved in it just in, in, in a small feeding manner i always believe that our students have something to be cultivated more than even what we expect so i believe on the capacity of students and what's expected from us is to to facilitate issues to encourage you definitely if you can estimate the amount of energy and the momentum that you have and if you exert uh, some more or some additional additional uh, energy definitely you will be somewhere and i want to see you not only this even i want to see you beyond the class so i am very much happy to see you do you know the course that i am going to teach you who can tell me uh, i think that is course? international policy yes yes international policy making and analysis yeah yeah uh can you see the relevance of the course just from the name oh uh alamachin dynamic nechinya demo yeminnmarro international trade and economics slona uh yenya yezin timirt merto memmar ወደፊት ለሚኖረን አገራየም ሆነ አንድ አንድ ተሳትፎሽ ላይ ከፖሊሲ ሜኪንግ አንጻር እንዴት ነው ነገሮችን ኢንካውንተር ምናደርገው ከሚልሳቤ መነጨ ይመስለኛል ይሄ ኮርስ ዴፊኔትሊ ዴፊኔትሊ አይ አይ ስትሮንግሊ አፕሪሼት ባይ ዘ ዌይ ዘ ዘ ሴትአፕስ ኤንድ ዘ ኮሚትመንትስ ፍሮም ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ሪሊ ዚስ ታይም it almost becomes a pioneer in addressing students even at distance so i really appreciated them and they really because this time on one hand the policy uh, issue is there the legal issues are there by respecting the laws of the country on this issue and then uh, addressing the interests of students is really one great achievement so you are right uh, bini Uh, as international students uh one of the issue to act internationally is to have an internationally accepted mode of conduct or uh, many call it the mo- international modus operandi this international modus operandi should be governed in a commonly understandable manner uh this commonly understandable manner or guideline uh, should be what we call it the foreign policy some sometimes we call it the international policy making so in this course what we are going to learn is uh, foreign policy making is one so i don't want to finish just the course by saying foreign policy making is blah blah this this is no no that that's not the start the time so how do we analyze you know what does a lot of or nations or states have their own foreign policy issues matters pressing matters even these days so how do we really analyze that though? so the first the first task is to 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 run 
uh, or to run the, the, the lecture and then uh, mm, to have a discourse on the foreign policy making, how the foreign policy making process looks like, and then what are the paradigms in foreign policy making, and then uh, finally, of course, uh, every policy or uh, we like it or not every policy in every foreign policy uh, really revolves around economic and then political interest even these days um, mostly uh, in my view i may be mistaken in my view there is not such pure political interest ultimately the economic interest so i can really assure you that you are on the right track to join this international policy matters you can see that everything is targeting economic matters, economic issues. So, so uh, uh, this is what I want to say. So foreign policy making and analysis, uh, it is a two credit hour course. I hope all of you know me, so I will save the time to, to explain about me. But it will be good if I, if I can rehearse what you are doing, where you are doing it like that. Don't worry about where we are and then uh, what you are. Just I want to really remind you, I know uh, most of you, uh, so I, we can save our time on that regard. So welcome to the course, Foreign Policy Making and Analysis. Remember here, my colleagues, Foreign Policy Making foreign policy making, you know, the, the crafting of the foreign policy processes, the crafting process of foreign policy issues. And finally, our expectation as a college, you will be capable enough in providing brief analysis of different foreign policy matters. Of course, we are focusing mainly on marketing issues. By the way, let me ask you one brain, brainstorming issue. There are a lot of issues, especially in terms of marketing, because uh, one of our chapter in this course is a, a marketing policy. Uh, let me ask you one thing because it will help me to maybe reshape the material in the lecture in the upcoming events. Have you learned about like trade barriers, trade barrier issues? Yeah. Like the effects of quota, the effects of... Uh, Taxi yeah, we we'll learned. Yeah. We we'll learned. You have already learned it. That's very nice. Yeah. That's very nice. Uh, so I will share you the screen. You can manage it. I hope you can see it. Yeah. Today we may not indulge much to the details of the course, but the very important course, as I told you in the previous, I think, semester, the most important course in any academia is the first lecture knowing the tenets and then the pillars and the wings of the course. So this is a very important time that you are really attending. So I will explain about it. Uh, as I said, it, this course deals with some introductory aspects of foreign policy. So you can read that one. As the end, you are really expected to, to have the following outcomes you will understand the process of foreign policy making, as I said it before. What are the process? When you talk about the process, it means there are some steps. When you talk about some steps, there are some key issues, key factors that need to be considered, key stakeholders that need to be engaged, and then the role of media. We will we'll, we'll see a lot of things on this regard. The third thing, you are also expected to, to have a view on foreign policy analysis, not only analysis, what are the tools and models uh, that help us analyze foreign policy issues, mostly from the context of economic matter and the study of international relations because without having uh, a good international uh, institutions that can engage in these international relations, um, spending much time on foreign policy issues as such will probably be a futile exercise. So the last one, you will understand the role of government structure and other actors on foreign policy issues. We will see this. I have really nice materials and thanks for National Aviation College, which also assisted us to acquire these materials. Some of the materials are already ready here. I will share you. 
annually is that. So when we come to the detailed contents of the course, uh, I believe the course has some eight chapters. Don't worry, yes, it is to the point. I will, I will manage it. The first one is uh, the foreign introductory part. Uh, introduction, we'll see the foreign policy and analysis. Why, why we do that? Why do we worry about foreign policy analysis? Why don't we simply flow on what's already available? So we will see that. These days, previously, when people teach foreign policy, they were simply dropping here and there, and then they say, or they, they, they really narrate the process. But we will, we will use a different approach, the comparative. So we will see studying foreign policy on, on comparative approach, because if you remember in your previous courses, there is a concept called comparative advantage. You know, everything it can have its own advantage, but we will really craft policies from a comparative perspectives. The third part under chapter one, it will be what are really the features of foreign, foreign policy study? When do you say that a foreign policy study should include this, 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 and what are the tenets and the components? So what are the features of a good foreign policy and quote unquote the bad foreign policy approach. We'll see that. And finally, we'll see, we will define the subject. Maybe we can bring the defining the subject above. And then when we talk about special analysis, there are different levels of analysis and we'll see them separately. And then what are the different world views, theories and re the relevance of world views and theories for the contemporary or even for the current or future uh, polling policy crafting and analysis. And finally, we will say something about the world. Really, in what world are we now? <laughs> it's very difficult. Even the book that, uh, that uh, I will share you is 2019, almost one year old. You can see how the world is dynamic. But this dynamism doesn't necess necessarily change the policy because what makes policy as a feature is it is relatively static in nature. Of course, there are a lot of policy dynamisms. We will see that. So in the introduction part, more or less, our focus areas will be these seven points. The second chapter deals with rational actors, rational actors and national stands. There is a rational interest. Of course, there is not few rational. There is we are really being in a, the, what you call it, a bounded rationality matter. But how can we really reconcile? How can you know? How can the, the policy tries to reconcile uh, rationality uh, versus national interests? So we, we will see this one. Uh, really, first of all, what is national interest, and then we will try to conjugate it with rational decision making and relations. Because first of all, the uh, there are beliefs that, anyway, we'll discuss them. Uh, there are beliefs that foreign policy emanates from national interest. So this national interest should be decided. You know, we can have a lot of interests as human beings, as a nation, as a state. But these national interests should be crafted in a rational way. Of course, there's no 100% rationality. Uh, always remember the bound rationality concept and then the issue of realism. So when we relate rational decision making versus realism, we are talking about bounded rationality. So the, the governing factor behind relating national interest with foreign policy making is what you call it, this bounded rationality. When you have time, please read about it. Of course, maybe you have read it all already. And then what are the measures of rationality? You know, we will assess rationality. Rationality and let's say nuclear decision making is these days is one one interesting issue. I raise nuclear there because we, we will see how, how we can relate, relate to that one. And then in, in in a place of nuclear, you can see the current challenges we are facing, the emerging opportunities as the world is leaking. So I, I brought it to our attention because from that uh, we can adapt a lot of lessons, you know. Well, that's what that is. That. And Palhurtic theory, that's an interesting theory mm, that can tries to relate 
all the points that we will discuss in chapter two. You know, what's the theory? That will be a very important point of departure to construct a model. So we will see that. In chapter three, we will see cognition and leadership orientation. Cognition, you know, we were talking about rational orientation or like that, like that. So the role of leadership on this one, uh, cognition and belief sets, cognitive structure, learning, operational called personality and leadership, how they can really play a great role in these components. We will see that one. And then I will give you a, some kind of preliminary case study. By the way, I didn't put them at the end of chapter two, we can have at least one case study and how that case was resolved by the countries. And what do you do if you were the leaders and then the negotiator of that issue in that place or in that country? We will see that one. Um, uh, when you talk about policy, it's all about decision. The decision on how to run in the coming 10 or 20 or 40 years, maybe with this group of countries on this matter or like that. So that's, it means what are the elements, the ultimate decision units in foreign policy analysis. So the single group decision making process, the bureaucratic politics and the multiple autonomous groups, how they are really acting on matters related to foreign policy and what can we solicit from this will be dealt with in chapter uh, four. So we cannot be out of culture, I hope you know, culture, the different institutions and the roles that each culture and each institution play on, um, on uh, foreign policy. That will be dealt in chapter five. And all this will be affected by, affected by state type and foreign policy. How the nature of the states affects the type of foreign policy that the country should carry out will be seen that the national self-image. Can we, is there, is there, is there an issue called self-image at national level? And then the role and the conception that this can be incorporated. So we will see all this in chapter five. And then probably this will be a very interesting research topic because this issue is not still finalized. It's an ongoing research topic. Determinants of foreign policy decision making. What are the factors? Doctor. Yes? Zile? Uh, yeah. yeah. And so personal cult and uh, narcissism. Yeah. Uh, national selfish We will see that one. <laughs> That's a very, a very interesting uh, issue. That is personal. Really? What you can see, Bini, is a good question. Is that personal, really? Uh, can a single person have some cult, by the way? Or is that cult really supported by some groups of communities? Think over that. And then what are the driving forces to be with that cult? And then how this cult will be incorporated? In what way and in what manner? We can, by the way, it's a very interesting issue. We can really remember the Hitler and Mozola even. We will, we will see that. It's a very good question. Uh, so the psychological factors, what Billy is raising is this one, yeah. Psychology is all about the study of individual behavior, yes. So you can, you, 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 you can do that. And then the cognitive, I mean the cognitive mapping. Uh, these are the two key issues that are being raised within the foreign policy research uh, debates. So at least I have to tell you what are really the recurring or the emerging issues in terms of determining some issues related to foreign policy. One is a psychological factor and that's a community. You know, even science may say a lot of things. No, even politics may say, no, this is not an individual. The country is a public. The country is millions country. No, that is, that is sometimes works, but even most of the time, you can see how individuals really play in twisting foreign policy matters. And then how economists, you know, can reconcile these individual interests with national interests, where that national interest is, of course, to have a very good international relation and 
uh, maximizing common goods. Uh, the seventh chapter will be about international relation theories. It's, I, I wanted to jump this theory, but um, as international economic students, I think it's a very important one not to jump this. You know, we, we will see that one. Beginning from some alternative theories up to liberal institutions, what are the lessons from the, the success and failure stories of these liberal institutions? Even there is a, a term called neorealism. So what's that? What's that? So how do we see the international system level of analysis? We will see that. And finally, as I said, it's economic is the key issue, surrounded by a lot of matters related to international foreign policy. So we will see the marketing foreign policy, or directly you can say the economic foreign policy. Uh, definitely, we have a lot of nice examples. Maybe I may be influenced by the European foreign policy, especially the European Union issues, but this European Union, even for the sugar, even for cabbage, even for individual, you know, even just commodity level policy are there. Even the subsidy policy related to cabbage, it can be related to milk. I hope you, ha you have already come across on this on these issues and how we are dealing with so assume that you are a consultant to some of the investors in ethiopia where now the government is in a serious need really are they really be good consultants so understanding how some destination areas of our commodities react in terms of their policy is very important also understanding so even i say it marketing you can say economic, I don't know, economic foreign policy or foreign policy in relation to economic matters. So if you are political science students, definitely the issues and the stories that we are dealing with this course is totally different because I took these two courses in two parts. One is part one and part two. Uh, one is just an introduction. Then after that, those who are really focusing on politics, they will really specialize on that. Others who are really specialized on economic interests, which is also my, my interest, we are also looking in this one. So we have a lot of cases in the middle. And as you, it may be a big, big for you. You may assume, don't worry, I will have a very concise notes and then detailed reading materials. And I will show you all these materials in electronic copies. I use normally state of the art teaching materials, just all the materials are good, but we don't want to use like 2007, 2000. We use 2009 in doing the laser. You know, things are really changing because you will get most of them in 2009 in teaching material. So I will, I will, I will do that. Uh, especially in, in chapter eight, like the marketing effects of, huh, or the nexus between marketing and foreign policy, even how can we frame the four piece or the five piece the products, the price, you know, and then we will see the uh, the media effects. You, you can see that the media is these days even beyond what, what what many people or main writers call it. It's really another state, state with the state. The media really plays a great role. So teaching and learning methods, the teaching and learning methods for this 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 material is, I said it, classroom lecture. Is that do you agree? Definitely. Are you in class? Okay, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just in, in it. Your, <laughs> you are in your classroom. Anyway, yeah. um, really, start to COVID, we can say like it, this classroom, we are not in a classroom. So make sure that we are out of the classroom. So online lectures, you know, I will not afraid to collect my errors in front of my students. So online lectures uh, we can say somehow even you have group assignments uh, presentations discussions and a number of reloaded cases i will share you i hope you will enjoy it i will not only i will not only i will not be the one the, the one in the only land who will talk on this course every one of you will have his own chance and i have also an interest to hear you on this on this matter so 
the first and the most interesting book is this one. I will share you. በተመረጥ ከፍ ብሎ መብረር ይቻላል ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይ ስህት ኩባንያ ከከፍተኛ ትምርት አግባብነት እና ጥራት ኤጀንሲ ሙሉ ቅናን ባገኘንባቸው በማስተርስ ዲግሪ MBA በስትራቴጂክ ማኔጅመንት MBA በባንኪንግ እና ፋይናንስ MBA በቢዝነስ ሊደርሺፕ MBA በሪስክ እና ኢንሹራንስ MSc በኢንተርናሽናል ትሬድ እና ኢኮኖሚክስ ዘርፎች በእውቀት ለመቅረጽ ይበቁ ፕሮፌሰሮቻችን አረንጓዴ መብራታቸውን አብርተዋል በነገራችን ላይ በኬንያ ሀገር ከሚገኙ ስመጥር ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች በሚመጡ ፕሮፌሰሮች የትኩረት መስክ ትምርቶቹ መሰጣታቸው ልዩ ያደርገናል በመርጥ የትምርት ስርዓት የተገነባው ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ በመጀመሪያ ዲግሪ በአቪዬሽን ማኔጅመንት በሆቴል ማኔጅመንት በአካውንቲንግ እና ፋይናንስ በማርኬቲንግ ማኔጅመንት አስተማማኝ ትምርት ይገብዩና ራስዎንና ሀገሩን ይለውጡ አድራሻ 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስዶ መንገድ ላይ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይ ስህት ኩባንያ ህልሞን አሁን ያደርጋል አይ ካን አይ ካን ሊስት ሜቢ 15 or 12 books but that's not really uh, the matter you know i have to we have to be to the point and then we have to understand you your situations how you are busy with a lot of matters so this is a very nice material that i will follow uh, one of the materials is by thanks for miss laura nick so she has she has really a wonderful material and this material is called foreign policy foreign policy comparatively so i know studying comparatively i mean it's a foreign policy book book the way how we can read is is a comparative it's a modern approach um, not only just the notes there are a lot of cases and analysis that are there so we, we will see this one so this is a fourth edition it's not just for the sake of mentioning you can see here it's 2000 2019 the third edition 2014 she has significantly improved it because i read it even before 10 years ago um she has she has added a lot of uh, reroller cases and she has removed some old notes so this is the first book uh the second book that uh, for well, the second interesting reference material that we will deal with is i said it number two, you know uh, you know my culture is i really rank materials it's not just this one is much better than that so the other one is um, understanding foreign policy decision making by alex and carl gelson it has six but it really is a big book it's very friendly to read that introduction she making environment models of decision determinants of for example one of the chapter is directly from this one yeah, the marketing policy from this one and even from uh, uh, the other one which is the one that i am going to show you the the third interesting book is and even user friendly book is this one by chris alden and amoran it is foreign policy analysis if you remember the previous two books mostly they are inclining toward this uh, foreign policy making process what about the analysis because remember our course is foreign policy making and analysis so the analysis part can be can be covered by this so i think these are very interesting materials that you can then I tried to get some recent one for this but unfortunately it's not yet published but still it's not old one 2017 you know so uh, we can have we can have that um in addition uh, I can show you some several related cases almost at the end of this chapter almost every book has that interesting cases by the way not only that we can also add our own cases you know at least two or three cases we can uh, we can discuss on this assessment i i can say it is a corona time assessment <laughs> covid time it's very difficult to give you quiz i know if i give you quiz all of you will get 100 out of 100 but mm, i know you are really mm, very smart in, uh, in dealing with this Uh, it was quiz but i said it individual is a writing kind of i give you some time on some issue 
uh, based on what you have discussed and what you have read, you will have some individual essay writing. Uh, I said it quiz, not quiz, consider it like a quiz, like it's individual home tech quiz. You can get it, home tech quiz, already not home tech, even home delivered. We are delivering it to you. Huh? Thanks for the technology. Individual case analysis, 15%. You can have group report. Thanks for Zoom. I hope you can can do that. Even your presentation will be done in Zooming if you have. Uh, I, I I believe that you'll present it, but if you if you may not have um, the comfort to do that, uh, that presentation may be cancelled. We will discuss anyway uh, during that time. Final exam covering all topics handled. Just I will compromise on this one. May not be all topics, so just say it. Final exam. Uh, with this one quiz, you can you can do that. Okay. So these are the issues that uh, we are going to uh, deal with. So today is a familiarization day, and then I hope uh, you may not expect detailed lectures because there are some colleagues. I can see only three. I know that you will not be happy to attend by missing your nice colleagues also. If you if you if you are really interested, I can I can proceed, but because of some you know curricular issues and then even sometimes first day, first class is good, but sometimes we have to see the reality that's happening. Maybe some of our colleagues may not have the network. Mm, the, and then understanding that we can tolerate because I can really substantiate or I can really compensate it even by adding another class because what do you see Bini? Definitely I agree with you doctor uh, in order to grandize or in order to minimize such inconvenience uh, yeah. you have to finalize the curricular issue and deliver yeah. it in a nice way uh, at yeah. the next time Thank you very much. Next time we will uh, see the the first part and then all the materials, especially the books. Uh, I can share you with the with this with Telegram or with this one. I can also upload it uh, on the desktop. Don't worry. Uh, Brooke has already gave me all your address. It will not be tomorrow. I will send you an email containing some issues. It's really. Uh, interesting one and we can uh, go through smoothly so remember this is a master's class it's not just uh, a one a, a, a one direction you know a, a, a unitary lecture I mean flowing ideas just from the preacher and going to I also expect from you and then in a more and in a nice interactive way uh, we can finalize and if you have Anything that you can comment or criticize me, I am always ready. Remember, I don't, I don't feel criticized. I really learned from you also. You have to know this. So it will also be a blessing for uh, our college, for National Aviation College, to really get feedbacks from our students and then incorporate this, if possible, just on the spot. If not, just on the, on a, on the next lecture. If not, on the next chapter, if not on the next batch. So um, welcome for all your comments. See it anyway, this is a curriculum that's already designed by the college. You may see that these parts of the course are really kind of repetition. So Reggie, can you do this in this way instead? If you say that, it's really, the room is open, uh, colleagues. Anything on the content, what do you say? Anything that we expect from the course but missed in the chapters? Doctor. Uh, yeah. Horsu chapter roch betam bezuna chow. Yeah. Na soon reduced na ragualam belhena berna. 
ኤግዛክትሊ መቼ ነው ኤክስፔክት ምናረገው ቱ ፋይናላይዝ ዚስ ኮርስ ለምን ያለን ታይም በጣም ሊሚትድ ነው ያ ጀስት ብሎኪንግ ነው ጀስት 1 ማንዝ ሌክቸር ነው አልማ ማክሲማም አዎ ኖት 2 ማንዝ ሌክቸርስ ቱሜ ቢ ዶንት ኖ ዳት ኦኬ ዋን ቲንግ አይ ዊል አሹር ዩ ኢዝ ዳት ዶንት ፊል ኢፍ ዩ ሲ ዘ ፔጅስ ኢት ዲስ አር ዘ ማቴሪያልስ ኦን ማይ ኦን ማይ ኦን ማይ ኖትስ ዳት አይ ሪሊ ፕሪፔር ኢቨን ኢፍ ኢት ሉክስ ላይክ ኢ ቢገር ኢሹ ፎር ኤግዛምፕል ቻፕተር 1 ኢዝ ጀስት ዋን ዴይ i i don't i don't really enter to say detail narrates films and then boring you is boring uh, and also i will try to you know i i try to compromise you know on one hand i don't want my students miss anything from the the, the intended subject matter so one on the other hand i will also try to care how uh, how much burden you have this time and like that so rather than missing what you have to go to, to get i can really uh, take my time to have to the point lecture you know just to the point like introduction just one day one day lecture the second one is today probably probably the third one like uh, in my intention they are like eight consecutive lectures are really enough for me definitely with these eight consecutive lectures you can handle them for example if you talk about marketing foreign policy it's a huge it is huge but what you can do here is what economists can really need or can really benefit if i tell them this. so i will do that the other thing is probably determinants of foreign policy making if you want to read it by yourself i can jump it because you were asking him even before one of the issues is on individual issues and then pluralistic matters so what you can do is we can have some chapters for reading some chapters for for lecture and then chapter 1 just forget it because it's uh, some some definition and issues so if one chapter is for reading and chapter 1 is just introduction so all, only six chapters will be left anyway we will not be forced to do all this uh, as far as the the uh, coverage is concerned at least six chapters are really enough but remember national aviation never compromises on quality issues we have to deliver what we have for our students you know uh, so at least uh, i can share you the material on those chapters that we will not cover i believe i we will cover because i know the notes that i have uh, but in case if there are some issues that uh, deter us not to cover some of the chapters i will give you reading materials and that will not be actually considered uh, of course for uh, assessment okay so anyway we will deal with it i i also have that but if you see some foreign policy books like 12 14 15 chapters that's that's not uh, the issue so uh, we will discuss huh? but okay. for the time being let 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 it be our governing uh, course outline in the meantime if you see that the reje we can read this or it's a repetition we have learned it here for example the media effects this is just seven or eight pages narration even with some reloaded case we'll share you on this one definitely we will narrate it and we'll do, we'll do that so bini have you answered it have i answered it yeah definitely doctor yeah you answered it when do we meet maybe saturday or Thursday. Thursday? Yeah, we can make it on Thursday or Saturday, no problem, on my side. Yeah, uh, Brooke, I think, suggested me on Thursday for you. Okay. So Thursday, be ready on this. I will share you all the resources, including the course outline, and then we will deal with the first chapter. Don't stress because I don't want my students to be get stressed anytime, by the way. because this corona time doesn't also need stress relax and then uh, take care of yourself i really worry for you by the way so take care of yourself 
and then really uh, stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. ለዩነት መፍጠር አላማችን ነው ዓለም አቀፍ ተወዳዳሪ መሆን አለባችሁ የnational airways እድ ኩባንያ national aviation college ጥራትና ደረጃውን የተጠበቀ ስልጠና በመስጠት ብቁ ዜጋ ያፈራን ነው በflight operation በበረራ መስተንግዶ በቲኬቲንግና ሪዘርቬሽን በሆቴልና ቱሪዝም ሙያዎች አሰልጠናን ተወዳዳሪና አድርጎታለን ኮሌጃችን ካናዳ ከሚገኘው international air transport association አያታና ከእንግሊዙ icm ጋር በመተባበር ዓለም አቀፍ ዕቅና ያለው ስልጠና እየሰጠ ይገኛል በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ የምንሰጣቸው ስልጣና ከኢትዮጵያ ሲቪል አቪዬሽን ባለስልጣን ሙሉ ቅና አለው አድራሻ ከጎላጉል ታወር 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ የnational airways እድ ኩባንያ national aviation college ህልሞን እሁን ያደርጋል